Good morning folks. Well, it's a Sunday morning just now and I'm up in my hometown of Dunfermline. Um, this isn't a really nice story for this one. Um, I've been contacted by the papers to come up and do a picture of a guy who around 6 o'clock the other morning, the other evening actually, he was just sitting down for his tea. He heard a lot of noise out the front of his house. A bunch of kids running across his car. So he grabbed his shoes. By the time he got out, uh, they were up at the War Memorial, which I'm just coming up to just now. Um, and he caught them urinating on it. They then threw bottles at him and made a run for it. So I'm just coming up to the War Memorial at the moment. Um, now, I don't even know how to put it into words. I mean, why? Why would someone do this? You just. It's beggar's belief to me. I mean, you just do not do that sort of thing. I mean, the war memorial's at the back of me there. This is for guys that have served and died for the country and for these little scrotes to have their rights. And it's just... I mean, when you look at the area, right, behind me, we've got the war memorial. As I pan round, we've got some of the trees which go into Pitt and Creef Park in Dunfermline. It's known as locally as the Glen. This was bought to, uh, for us by Andrew Carnegie. To, and we get free reign of this place. It's a beautiful place. As we come round, we've got the old Abbey Palace, the ruins. This is where King Malcolm and St Margaret lived. And if you notice, we've even got squirrels running about. There's a wee squirrel running about there. I mean, look at the wildlife. As I pull out again, at the back of the palace, we've got Dunfermline Abbey. That was built in the 1100s. We'll come over here, we've got another memorial, and it's the Garden for Heroes in there as well. We've got the one memorial, a second memorial up at the top, on the left there. We've got that pergola type thing there, for folk to go and sit under if they want, which is in there. We've got names of soldiers that have been killed up there. As we come down, come back round, and we've got the memorial. Now, I don't know if you can make it out, but check that staining. That's not rainwater. It's really quite slippy around here. It's. I mean, we've got all these wreaths. I mean, we've got Army Cadet Force. Royal British Legion, um, local high schools, police, churches, Scottish Parliament, the Scouts, the Boys Brigade. That's just naming a few of them. We've got Sir Optimists, Fife, even Fife Council put one down, Rotary International, and the Scottish Fire and Rescue Service are over there. When you look at the sign there, it's carved into the wall. Their name liveth forevermore. Now, that just says to me, show a bit of respect. You know, you don't go up against it and and just uh, it's just it's so bloody annoying. And what can be done to them? Nothing, pretty much. They'll get away with it. If they get caught, they'll get a wee slap on the wrist. The guy that has told the paper about it is... Uh, they were running over his car. His car's been written off. He's out of pocket now. His car's away to the scrappy. Um, he'll have to find himself another car. I've just noticed here as well... They've been writing on it. Or painting on it. I mean... Just what sense is there in that? I just don't see any sense in that at all. Maybe I'm older, maybe I'm a bit of well, an old fogey and all that, but no, it's just not right. You do not do that sort of thing. I mean, that could have been their grandparents that had died up there, or great grandparents that had fought for us and died. What sort of respect is that? It's so. Ah. What can you say? Just don't know.